Assalamualaikum and hi everything. So for this video, I will be talking about uh, effectiveness of buffer. How does this effectiveness of buffer really works? So as we will compare, um, based on the slide, we will compare uh, between strong acid and also acidic buffer. So let's look at the equation. So first we will look at the buffer first. So for buffer, as I have mentioned previously, so for a buffer, we have weak acid, which is partially dissociate into H plus and also A minus. And then we will add in salt. Salt is A minus. So um, I would like to recall back that for a buffer, it will have high concentration of HA, the weak acid itself, and also high concentration of the salt, the conjugate base of HA. So that is the special, uh, the special, what is special about a uh, buffer. So if we follow the example in the slide, so we have this acidic buffer, HA. This is a theoretical um, symbol that I use HA dissociate partially to form H plus and A minus and then uh, the concentration of weak acid is 0 0.09 molar and then we add in 0 0.025 molar of salt into the as uh, into the weak acid so if we mix both of them it will form a buffer a, a acidic buffer Okay, so information that we need is also these two. Ka is the Ka for acid. So this is the, uh, given the example, is 1.7 times 10 to power negative 5 molar. And then the volume, the total volume will be 1 liter solution. So if you have the concentration of acid and also concentration of base, then we can calculate the pH of the buffer by using the henderson hasselbach the formula. PKA plus log salt over acid. PKA is negative log of this Ka. And then salt is 0 0.025. Acid is 0 0.029. Just plug it in and then you will get the pH of the buffer is 4.2. So that is the pH of the buffer. Next, we will look at how effective will this buffer be. So we look at the first situation here. What happened if 0 0.01 mole of OH- base was added to the buffer? So what will happen actually? So if we look here, when you add 0 .01, 0 0.01 mole of OH-, it will be neutralized by 0 0.01 mole of H+. So if H+, neutralize OH-, so what happened? So I will try to represent what happened here in this ice table. So you have HA 0 0.09 uh, mole because this is one liter solution just now. So um, 0 .0, 0 0.09 mole is equal to 0 0.09 mole per one liter. And then because H plus neutralize OH minus, so the amount of OH minus is 0 0.01. And then this is the initial uh, mole for salt, this one, we put it here. And then, based on Lee Chatelier, if H plus is decreased concentration or the mole is decreased by 0 0.01, what will happen to the whole reaction? So what will happen is, Based on Lee Chatelier, HA, the weak acid, will dissociate more to cover, to produce back H plus that has been neutralized just now. So HA will dissociate more, it will produce H plus and A minus. So what you will get is Z minus 0 0.001. Why minus? Because just now it will decrease, dissociate. And then uh, it will produce 0.01 mole of H plus and 0.001 mole of A minus. Why 0.001? Because you want to counter back the decrease of H plus. So when you get this one, you just calculate it. 0.09 minus 0.001, you get 0.089. This one equals to 0, 0 0.026 after the addition. So if you look at here, 0 means that the decrease of H plus has been resisted here. 
uh, the decrease just now is 0 0.01 but it already being replace by the dissociation of HA. So you will get zero. And then you just add in the new concentration over one liter, you will get the new pH 4.24. From 4.2 to 4.24 increase after you add in the hydroxide. What happen if you add H plus? What happen if 0 0.01 mole of H plus was added into the buffer? So, what will happen is mole of H plus will increase by 0 0.01 mole. So, if, you, if I want to represent it in this ice table, this is the same 0 0.09 and 0 0.025. But this time, the amount of H plus increased by 0 0.001. So, based on Lee Chatelier, if this H plus increase, what will happen? A minus will react more with H plus so that the increase will be counteract. It will be neg uh, kind of negligible there. So when these two react, HA, the weak acid, will be produced. So A minus will reduce 0 0.001 and then this also will be reduced. When you add it up, it will become 0. And this one will be increased by 0 0.01, so becomes 0 0.091. This is 0 0.024. Um, just plug it in in the formula. So when you add acid into the acidic buffer, the pH will reduce from 4.2 to 4.19. So this is for acidic buffer. And what is so special about this? We can see the pH increase if you add base and the pH decrease when you add acid. So let's compare it to a strong acid. So for strong acid, because our base, uh, our acidic buffer just now is pH 4.2, so we will have to use the same pH. So pH 4.2 for this strong acid. So pH 4.2, 1 liter if you calculate from pH 4.2, what is the concentration of H plus? So you just anti log negative 4.2, you will get the answer 6.12 times 10 to negative 5 molar. That is the concentration of H plus. If it is in one liter, so the mole is also the same. So let's put this put put the information in the ice table. So H A completely dissociate into H plus and A minus. So if you look at here, initially you have H plus. This amount, this value here doesn't really help because you only cover H plus only. So this is the amount of H plus. If after that, you add in the same amount of base. From this question just now, we add 0 0.01 mole of OH. So for this one, we also add 0 0.01 mole of OH. So when both of this neutralize each other you just minus it so the remaining mole between h plus and, o, uh, and oh minus which one is more so it is oh minus so when you minus this both you will get the remaining mole is oh minus and if you calculate the ph after the addition of base you negative flock we got poh 3.02 this is ph 10.97 so from 4.2 the, the same amount of OH minus the pH drops rapidly from 4.2 to 10.97 for this one it is 4.2 to 4.24 so that is the difference let's look at the second one if you add in acid so 6 sorry okay 6.12 you add in the um, acid 0 0.01 so you just add it up you will get this value here you negative lock the value you get 2.97 so from 4.2 drops to 2.97 for the acidic buffer from 4.2 becomes 4.19 okay so that is why buffer is very effective in resisting pH change because of buffer have lots of concentration of HA, the weak acid, and also the salt. Um, it, when, the, when the amount is a lot, it will able to resist the pH change very good. 
So if the amount of acid or the amount of salt uh, is completely gone, finished, then the buffer will fail to resist the pH change. So that's it for this video. Thank you.